Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you guys about um, letters of muqattu'at. These are called muqattu'at, all of them all together. Um, it's, it's nice if you remember them, all of them in order by heart. Um, it's good to do that. Um, it's not um, compulsory that you should do it, but it's good if you remember them by heart, if you memorize them. Um, over here in the first one, it is Alif, as you all know, the brown one, it's Alif. Um, the next one over here, black one, is a lamb, and it has one symbol on the top. That symbol name is called Mad, M-A-D, Mad. Whenever it comes, you're supposed to stretch the sound of the letter, the name of the letter, for five seconds. So it would be like Alif Lam and then Meme over here. This one, pink one, is called a meme. It has this symbol, two symbols. So the pink symbol is called Shad. S H A D. Shad. Whenever it comes, you're supposed to connect that letter, that letter who has a Shad with the previous one. And how will the listener know that you're doing a shud? Is that you will hold the sound of meme for two seconds. And after that, meme has a mud. So it has two symbols. Hold it for two seconds. Hold the sound of that letter two seconds while connecting it with the previous one. And then stretch the name of the letter for five seconds. That's how you'll be doing the mud. So I'll show you how to do it. Alif Lam Meem. So when I said Alif Lam, I held it longer. I did the mud. And then when I held the meme sound, mm, sound, I did the shad. And then when I said Meem, I stretched the name of the letter for five seconds. I did the mud. So you have to do it, everything together and you don't have to mention what you're doing, you will be doing it and the listener would automatically know what you're doing. So it's Alif Lam Next one over here. So this one is a little bit longer than the previous one. Everything is same, just different letters and the symbols are same. So Alif is plain, it has no symbol. Lam has a mud. Meme has two symbols here again. Meme has a shad and a mud. So hold it for two seconds, connect it with the previous one. Do the mud. And then Sod over here has a mud again. Alif Lam Meme Sod. I'm gonna do it one more time. Alif Lam. So when I did lam, I did the mud. When I did mm, I did the shad. And then when I did meme, I did mud over here of the meme. And then when I said squad, I made it longer. I did the mud of squad there. So if somebody asks you, what is this symbol called over here? This symbol is called mud. And if someone asks you, what is the job of mud? You're going to reply to them. You're supposed to make the letter longer for five seconds. And if somebody asks you, what is this symbol called? It looks like a W. This symbol is always on the top of the letter. Whenever it comes, you're supposed to connect that letter who has a shad with the previous one. And how will the listener know that you're connecting it with the previous one? You will be holding the sound of the letter that has shed for two seconds. Let's try this one. So over here, this one, Alif is plain, Lam has a mud, and Ra has a new symbol. This symbol is called a standing zubber. Whenever it comes, whenever the standing zubber comes, you're supposed to make the sound of the letter longer for two seconds. Alif, Lam, Ro. 
So lam, I held for five seconds. I made it longer for five seconds. Ro, I made it longer for two seconds. Alif, lam, ro. Alif, lam, ro. It's all same. Alif, lam, mim, ro. So two seconds, two seconds, five seconds, five seconds. A lot of things are going on over here, but you don't have to mention it and you can do it. And all you have to do is in one breath. Next one over here. This one ha is a little bit longer. It has one, two, three muds and two standing zippers. So this blue letter, it's called calf. Kaf ha ya ain sqad. One more time. Kaf ha ya ain sqad. It's better not to break the breath. Do it in one turn. Don't divide it into pieces. That's the correct way of saying the letters, these words. If that is the correct way of saying them, don't break them. Say it in one turn. <laughs> Next one is shorter. It has two standing zippers. <laughs> so we're making them longer for two seconds. Two seconds, two seconds. Next one. This one is a little bit longer. It has four muds and just one standing zipper. Try not to break your breath. Try to do it in one turn. Let's do it one more time. Next one. Next over here, noon. So in today's lesson, we learned about uh, three symbols, mud, shud, and a standing zebra. Mud, shud, and standing zebra, three of them are always on the top of the letters. Whenever they come, you're supposed to, if the mud comes, you're supposed to make it longer for five seconds. When shud comes, you're supposed to connect that letter who has a shut with the previous one and hold the sound of that letter for two seconds. That's how I'll know that you're doing a shud. And for the standing zipper, you're supposed to make the sound of the letter longer for two seconds only. Um, that is it for today's video and I will see you guys in next lesson in which I will be teaching about this uh, zipper, zir and page. This is our next lesson and until then, take care, Allah Hafiz.